In previous lessons, we've learned that the primary objective of monetary policy in Singapore is to achieve price stability. In this lecture, we'll learn about how it uses exchange rate management to achieve this goal. Exchange rate policy affects inflation through two mechanisms, import and export prices. Now let's start with import prices. We already mentioned this briefly in Checkpoint 4.2. When the MAS allows the Singapore dollar to appreciate against foreign currencies, the prices of imported raw materials and intermediate goods in terms of Sing dollar will fall. Given our lack of natural resources and raw materials, this effect is quite significant and it helps to reduce cost push inflation by shifting the AS curve downwards and thus insulates the domestic economy from price hikes overseas. Moving on to export prices, we already know that Singapore is highly dependent on our export sector for economic growth. If the Singapore dollar were to appreciate against foreign currencies, the price of our exports will increase in terms of another currency which decreases our export competitiveness. Since Singapore exports mostly capital-intensive, high-value-added products including biotechnology, advanced medical technology, digital media and things like that, we tend to have a very price-elastic demand. This increase in price will thus lead to a more than proportionate decrease in quantity demanded. Thus, our export revenue falls, ceteris paribus, resulting in a leftward shift in the AD that reduces inflationary effects. Do note, however, this policy should only be used when the economy is operating close to full employment. Otherwise, the contractionary impact would severely increase unemployment levels.